Welcome to Movie Speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. The Equalizer 2 is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe to get every update. A train heading to Turkey where a man can be seen heading towards a bar inside the train even though he is a passenger the man is refused service to a stranger who comes to his aid the man seemed to know this stranger as they were talking the man asked how he could steal their daughter to torture the mother frightened by his words he ordered the man his grandfather that a fight broke out but as soon as the man overpowers them the scene changes and we see a woman running into the law office she reunites with her daughter thanks to the man mister morning a man named robert mccall a lift driver was seen chatting with his passengers while keeping an eye on the streets of boston when entering his residence he was approached by his customer fathom's neighbor welcomes her she grows vegetables in roberto's compound unlike roberto his character is a very simple man and we can see him living alone in his apartment the scene shifts from Robert to a house in Belgium. The husband enters the house and sees his wife was sitting at the table when three men forced him to sit there. The man shot. The woman then ordered the guy to kill himself, making it look like it was the husband who was overwhelmed. The man was shot. The scene changes to Robert entering a bookstore. The owner turns out to be the same woman from the beginning of the film, and it seems he helped her. He paid for his book after a short conversation with the woman and went to work. Robert picks up a girl in a hotel, where a man asks him to take her home noting the girl's appearance. He returns to the hotel after ensuring his safety by acting as if the card was declined. He is welcomed into the room, realizing what has happened. He investigates the girl and informs him informs them that he has tested her he allows them to do the right thing by ignoring his offer he fights them all effectively at home robert is welcomed by an old friend susan she informed him about the work in her husband's new book here it is discovered that roberto was a former cia officer who was declared dead for some time despite susan's repeated requests for him to come back and work with her again refused the next day when he returned home he found fatima's garden on the wall vandalized by annoying teenagers he tried to repair it himself a resident living in the block told him to leave it alone at the apartment and robert said that otherwise we would complain that he would complain rather than being impressed by offers of miles to help him as an art student he did odd jobs to pay his bills so he thought why don't try the scene switches to Susan in a meeting with her colleague Dave. They appear to be talking about the suicide chase in Brussels, where her husband appears to check out Robert's outfit. He is seen with Sam talking about his lost painting and how he found his sister Magda Robert notes to check later in the evening he finds Susan and her husband. She informs him about flight to Belgium the next day, where Robert talks about the painting and she tells him she will examine it. In Brussels, Susan and Dave examine the crime scene. It is clear it is a suicide and uncertain so they return to the hotel to investigate further, agreeing to meet later. Dave and Susan were halfway to hotel room number two. The strangers attack him. They fight for a while but then the door closes and the scene changes with Miles with his painting. Robert asked Miles about his passion for art. He replied that he had been painting for as long as he could remember. They had been cut off when Robert received a call. He was informed about the Susan's death. He visits her house, but doesn't show up after everyone leaves Brian. Susan's husband gave Robert her phone along with his other belongings that night. Robert tries to transfer the files to his laptop while the men are in Brussels. The man who killed Susan was killed in a gas explosion. Several men can be seen leaving the location afterwards without leaving his house in days Robert replays tapes that he received to try to find out who was behind Susan's death. He noticed that two men had entered before Dave and Susan thought they knew Susan in her place making it clear that the her murder was planned. Checking the autopsy report confirmed his suspicions, but knowing that her hands were tied, he decided to visit Dave to ask for help. 
because he thought he died in an explosion Dave was shocked to see his partner alive after all these years he agreed to help investigate Robert L informed about the knife wound and concluded that it was done by someone who was trained back home Robert has reconstructed the entire crime scene in Brussels according to reports he is trying to understand what happened based on his testimony Robert thinks someone else is involved. Susan was close to solving the case, which is why she was killed. He called Dave to check. With his people, Dave accepted and hung up while Robert watched for miles for several days. He knew that he had given up painting. He decided to investigate the child's disappearance and recorded the truck's license locating the vehicle he arrived in. When an apartment complex arrived in the area he broke into, disarming the guards at the gate, Robert saw for Miles among the group of gangsters. He tried to get out of there, but Miles objected. Robert teaches him how the real world works, then Miles visits Robert and questions him for forgiveness and in return if he could give his wall a new coat. Robert only agrees if he reads a book on the shelf every time he does it later in his job. A suspicious man entered Robert's car. He seemed to want to go to the airport. Robert's annoyance turned out when the man did not notice the change of direction. He alerted the man who first tried to attack Robert with a knife, but then with a gun, Robert shot him. He passed Guy's phone and set the car on fire. Then cuts to Dave and his family early in the morning. A group of identical men from Brussels are seen in a car in front of Dave's house as they carry out perform your daily work. Dave appeared to be nervously checking his phone when Dave's wife, who had left, was gone. To check the door did not answer but turned back to Robert surprised to see him. Dave was surprised but covered it up. The children were taken to prepare with his wife while Dave sat down. Robert seemed to understand as he catches Dave by calling him out for dropping the assassin's phone. Act Dave admits that after Robert dies, they will stop the project. These people had to do something about their situation, so they took the wrong path by following the orders of those who paid with someone's life, whether it was an enemy or not. Dave still believes that everything they did was right, but Susan will find out everything so he has no choice but to end his life. Dave introduces him to the rest of the team, who also seemed shocked to see him alive. Robert did not cared about what happened to them, but his only concern was that they would kill Susan without remorse. He threatened to kill them. They didn't believe Robert when he warned the four of them at night. Resnick and Ari, two members of Dave's group, are seen breaking into Susan's house. But before they arrived, Robert visited Brian and ensured his safety by taking him to a safe location. Meanwhile, at Robert's apartment, Miles is giving his wall a new coat when he receives a call from Robert. He asked Miles where he was to inform him that he was at Robert's house. Robert asks Miles to check his surroundings. Miles tells Robert that there was only one pizza delivery guy, knowing that he showed Miles his secret hideout behind the shelf just as Dave and Kovac entered Robert's apartment. Miles entered the secret compartment there, Robert ordered. To calm him down and keep quiet, they looked for Robert but found no one. Dave and Kovac almost walk miles through the two-way mirror but are interrupted by Robert's call. He let them know that he was keeping an eye on them. Thanks to his camera, he gave them a hint as to where he was going. Dave understood and they left thinking they were miles behind. He came out of hiding and was surprised when two Roberts headed towards his old house and flashed their police badges as he was arrested. The local sheriff said a storm was about to hit town and they evaluated Dave along with Ari, Kovac, and Resnick's team heading to Robert's hometown. They brought weapons and armor when they arrived. They searched the area that was too windy that Dave went to. Height and climb the watchtower. Once he entered the area, he asked Kovac to search a warehouse. He was tricked by Robert, then killed with an axe. Rysonic confirms Kovac's death to Dave Ares while searching the area. He is confused by Susan's posters, then blinded by sand due to the storm taking advantage of Robert to hit him. 
Killing him immediately, Robert checked his surroundings and shot Dave using the rearview mirror of a car cleverly evading him by shooting at an electric pole. He headed towards his wife's bakery. He's setting traps inside his bakery while a citizen confirms RV's death to Dave. He tries to find his way inside the bakery. It explodes and Resnick is killed. Killed in seconds. No other options left. Dave threatens to kill Miles when he shoots his car. He shoots the trunk first. The bullet hits Miles and he groans a second time as he prepares to shoot the trunk. Robert shot a tire, causing Dave to miss. Too angry, he stood up to change position but was pushed towards the other corner by the wind, causing Dave to take advantage of this and hit his head. Robert climbs the tower and Dave and Robert fight. Robert eventually kills Dave and throws him into the ocean. Miles gets out of the trunk and Robert treats his wounds. The film ends with Miles finally taking his art school seriously and he paints memories of Fatima on the once vandalized walls. Old Sam is reunited with his long lost sister Magda and Robert is seen returning to his homeland. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.